As I mentioned earlier in the service that today we're going to begin a new study in God's Word. It is entitled, A New Heart and a New Spirit. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at the stories in God's Word from Resurrection Sunday up until Pentecost Sunday. We're going to see what happened with the disciples of Jesus after Jesus rose from the grave up until the Holy Spirit was poured out upon God's people. And so I want to show you our schedule uh, for the next six weeks. What we're going to do is we're going to focus on the condition in which Jesus found his disciples. So today we're looking at Luke 24, which is a downcast heart. Next week we're going to see the disciples locked up in a room for fear. And we're going to see how the new heart that God has given us speaks to a fearful heart. Then we're going to look at the story of Jesus appearing to Thomas, a doubting heart. Then we're going to go to the story of Peter, and we're going to break it up into two parts when Jesus recommissioned Peter. We're going to look at a hungry heart and then a hurting heart. And then we're going to wrap it up on Ascension Sunday when Jesus ascended into heaven. And we're going to see the interaction he had with his, his disciples on that day. And we're looking at an impatient heart. I want to show you where we get this uh, idea or this title for this series of sermons, A New Heart. It comes to us from this precious passage in the Old Testament, uh, given God speaking through the prophet Ezekiel. He said this in Ezekiel 36, 26. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. Here, God made a promise of what he would do for his people one day. And that promise finds its fulfillment in the coming of Jesus Christ. That now we have a new heart. That through Christ and through the work of the Holy Spirit, God performs in us a spiritual heart transplant surgery. And then we're going to see how that new heart and that new spirit enables us to live wholeheartedly for the Lord Jesus Christ. So as we go through these six sermons, we're going to really have three main purposes. So I'll put these up on the screen. Number one, I want us to focus on the struggles that these disciples had when Jesus appeared to them. Then we're going to not just look back at what happened to them, but we're, as we read the text, we're also going to be looking forward to the outpouring of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost Sunday which is going to be the first Sunday of June, okay? And then, as we're doing all this, we're going to see why God has given us this new heart and a new spirit, okay? Does that sound like a game plan for everybody? All right, all right, let's, so let's go ahead and let's get into this. Let's start with verse number 13.